Hey everyone, I am Vikas from Small Academy and I welcome you to another video on Android app development tutorial. So in this video today, we're going to talk about something basic and we will talk about how to apply custom font into the text view in our application. Okay, so the custom view means we are not going to use the font that is provided into the Android Studio, but we are going to download the fonts from the external websites and we're going to add that font into our Android Studio and after that we're going to apply that to the text view okay so this is the basic uh, things that you need to know while developing the Android application that you should be able to apply the custom font that is designed by the other people and uploaded in the you know public directory so sometimes you may not get the right font in your Android Studio and you may need to go and download the fonts from the other websites and apply into your application so this is really helpful when you need to apply the custom font in your text view or in your application so we're gonna go ahead and see today how to do that so let's open the Android studio here and I'm gonna start by creating a sample application obviously so I'm gonna go ahead and create one empty activity and give some name custom fonts and everything else is same click on finish and once the project is loaded and build is finished we are going, going to go ahead and start our tutorial on adding the custom font and while this build is going on the background I'm gonna go here and show you guys from where you can download the fonts so this is site is called fonts.google.com so this is the public websites on public fonts free fonts provided by the Google and you can use it in your application websites anywhere you want and it is completely free so you don't have to worry about anything else and here you can find a lot of fonts that is available for free now you can also see the preview here and if you want to type something and see how they will look like you can type here and they'll appear here into these boxes so that you can have the general idea of how that font is going to look like anyway you can see yeah, you can see that all of uh, the text is uh, appearing in all the fonts boxes here so uh, to download these fonts the ttf we need the ttf file and you can also download that uh, ttf file from the other websites as well but i prefer using google because they provide a lot of options here so i'm going to download let's say uh, this one anton click on that and after that you can choose this download button here if you click on that download family it's going to start downloading the zip file and if you open that inside that you can find the ttf file for that font okay so we need this ttf file to be able to use this font in our android application now the build is finished and i'm going to go to the main android uh, activity main here and this is our font all right okay so i'm going to just change this uh, font size so that you can see the changes when you apply the custom font and here now uh, to add the custom font we need the folder asset folder and inside that we're going to create a fonts and inside that font directory we're going to add all of our fonts that we're going to use in our application all right so to create the full asset folder we can go to the folder here right click on uh, right click on resource folder go to new and from there you can click on asset folder folder and you can click on asset folder and once you click on that you can also give the icons but we're not going to do that so once you click on finish it's going to create the asset folder here as you can see and it is building the app again and anyway now inside this asset folder we're going to we are going to create a font folder so that we can organize all the fonts that we're going to use so click on new directory and give the name as fonts okay so now this asset folder has the directory called fonts now we need to extract this uh, ttf file and we need to put that inside this font folder so i'm just going to drag from here and drop here but you can see i can't do that so instead of doing that i'm just going to right click on these fonts here and click on show in explorer and once you've done that it's going to open this uh, windows explorer where the folder is present now go inside that font folder now we can drag and drop this anton regular.ttf file so i'm just going to drag and drop into this font folder and after you done that you can see that the font is appear here 
the font has appeared here in the fonts folder okay now we can apply this to this hello world text okay so let how uh, and, and, and we need to do that from the main activity here so let's click on this hello world and give some id to this okay so i'm just going to give hello okay now i've given the id here so let's go to the main activity and we're going to do all of these programmatically now inside this i'm going to create new typeface so we are going to use typeface class and create object of typeface and there we're going to integrate this font family we have here so let's say tf now we can use typeface and create from asset okay and this takes two parameter one is asset manager and another one is uh, path where our ttf file is present so we can get the asset manager using get assets method and we are going to, we need to give the path here so our path is inside the asset folder so this get asset method all uh, point to this uh, asset folder here so we can we need to uh, now give the path inside this folder where our ttf file is present so fonts slash and the name of the fonts that is anton dash regular dot ttf okay now finally we need to apply this typeface to the text view so i'm going to create the text view here and uh, give the variable name and we're going to use find view by id to get the xml resources and id is hello if i'm not wrong and yes the id is hello so now we can use hello text view variable to set the typeface you can see and now we can give tf as a parameter here and it should apply that anton regular font to our uh, hello world text view here in the main activity and we'll uh, find out once we run that application so i have my device connected here and let's run this okay guys the application is running now and i'm going to open that here and you can see we have different typeface for this hello world and now I'm going to go ahead and download one more font and change this just to show you guys that it is working. So let's open the fonts at google.com. That is Google fonts. And from there, I'm going to download something diff some different font just to show you guys that it is working correctly. Okay, let's uh, select something. Yeah, this one. Let's select this one. And let's download the family. And once that is done, let's go to the Android Studio and open this in the Explorer. Okay, now I'm going to open this and copy this from here. And I'm going to copy this file name so that I can paste that into the Java file here. And here now, instead of this, you can see Chelsea Market regular is uh, already appeared in the fonts folder here. So I'm going to replace this file name with a new font name and i'm going to rerun this application and we will see if it is working okay so our application is running now and you can see we have this new uh, font applied to this hello world okay so uh, if you want to apply to the multiple multiple text view here if you, you need to create this uh, typeface object multiple times with the different name here okay and let me know if you want me to do a video on that as well otherwise you don't need to worry about it because uh, i'm making this video because video series is coming really soon in the channel and there we'll create one application where we're going to let the user share the thoughts create the account and it's more like a instagram but where we're not going to let user uh, share the photos but we'll just let them add the status and other extra things as well so those videos are coming soon so stay tuned for that and if you haven't liked this video like it subscribe it and share this with your friends so that they can learn the android studio too this is it for now and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye have a good day